What's up, guys? Back again for you guys. And today, I'm hitting another uh, request for you guys again uh, from another requester. This is coming from Sean Allen, aka at Elusive Sean um, on Twitter, also known here on Facebook, on YouTube as Comic Freak X. And um, basically, he sent me this uh, video, and it's from it's from Extreme Trend. So the link in the description down below is another top 10 list. And uh, it's entitled 10 Real Life Giants That Shocked the World. Okay, so we're talking tall people. Uh, people that basically, people I would have to zoop, look up at. Uh, do that all the time. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not very tall. So, but... Let's uh let's get right into that, shall we? Uh, but anyway, let's let's do this. Um, link in the description down below. Uh, with ten top lists, I probably we tend to chop this up. Uh, we may just go. Uh, how about I leave out the last two for you guys? Okay, uh, last two. So we'll go ten to to eight. Yeah, or ten to ten to uh. Whichever, however they really go. I'm just, I'm bugged. Um, uh, let, 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 let's do this. Here we go. Now. Hey everybody, how's it going? Extreme Trend. Extreme Trend. Today we're say. going to take a look at something you only hear of in fairy tales. Okay, that's fake, right? The giants. We're all familiar with the story of the Jack and the Beanstalk, aren't we? Jack plants a magic bean in the garden and sprouts up an enormous plant. When he climbs to the top, he angers a big, scary giant who chases him all the way back down again. While it might seem like the stuff of children's stories that are in fact some cases of larger than life people that are more fact than fiction. So let's take a look at 10 real life giants caught on camera all right Number 10, Hong Man Chao. Man Ch Born in South Korea, Hong Man Chao is a formidable Dang. figure, standing at a staggering 7 feet 2 inches tall. Big guy, 7'2". Alright. Advantage, Chao is a kickboxer, Yo! artist, and former wrestler. <laughs> now, if that was I would be scared as fuck! Away, he also weighs an impressive 23.9 stone. That's the same as 300... Oh, it's over. You fucked. He's fucked. He's fucked. Sugar. That certainly puts his weight He's in perspective, doesn't it? Can you imagine even attempting to beat He's him? fucked. A house like Chow in the ring. Most of us would run the other way and never look. Seven back. two. Interestingly enough, outside the ring, Chow goes for a more delicate hobby: singing. He paired up with Korean supermodel Kang Soo. All right, guys, a singer too. All right. Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. Can you guess which one out of the Beauty and the Beast that Chow was? The release was limited, but it also included a rap single. Chow remains a popular celebrity in his home country and can often be seen endorsing different products such as Lottie's Ice cream. Number 9, Neplin Giant. A few years ago, very old footage surfaced depicting what is to believe to be a real-life giant walking in the, the street fuck? of Japan. The towering man walks down streets lined with people waving flags and screaming out as if they were celebrating a national Yo, he looks like a big ogre! The height and structure of the towering man is completely unknown. No way! Uh-uh! Give Godzilla a run for Hell damn! Interestingly, the crowd doesn't look intimidated or scared in any way, shape, or form but simply overjoyed at seeing the living being. The origin of the footage is also... I don't believe it. ...with a lot of people believing that this holds no proof that the giant did exist at some point in history. The authenticity of the footage is also up for debate too, with some believing that it is a hoax. What do you think? I, I, I gotta you know call a little hoax on it. ...down below, but I don't know about you, I really want this Nepaline giant to be real. Number 8, Robert Wadlow. Damn, how tall is he? first entry was big, wait until you get a load of this one. Possibly the most famous giant in history, Robert Waldo was born in Alton, Illinois on February 22nd, 1918. The oldest of five children born to Addy and Harold Johnson, Waldo had a special condition which meant he would never stop Oh no, growing. he's got giantism. Growing in our late teens or early 20s, the 8 feet 11 8 feet 11! kept on growing. His growth 
growth was attributed to the hypoplasia of the pituitary yep. gland, meaning that his body was subject to an extremely high level of the human growth hormone. Oh my god. Man, everyday life was a struggle for Robert, oh. but he tried his best to live a normal life, graduating college and even enrolling in law. That's what's up. His height caused him several health issues, though, including a lack of feeling in his oh. legs and feet. Of course, the media loves a good story, and Wadlow soon became a celebrity, even touring with Ringling Brothers Circus. Word. Sadly, he passed away at age 22 due to an infection oh, started by a faulty leg brace. 18 That's days too before, young. He was measured by the Guinness World of Records and was officially awarded the title of tallest man in the world. Number seven, what the Rafael hell? Dos Santo Alves. What the hell is Doesn't that? Doesn't always mean being taller than the rest. It just could mean you're substantially larger too. Brazilian bodybuilder Romero took his sport to the extreme, often proclaiming that his idol was the Incredible Hulk. Word. Working out in the Word. gym wasn't enough for Alves. In one of the most ah. incredible stories to ever grace the bodybuilding world, in 2015, 25-year-old Alves decided to inject oil and alcohol no. into his arms to try and make them what? Bigger. His swollen muscles caused him to become a celebrity in his hometown of Claudus Novas, but for all of the wrong no. reasons. His children used to cry out in terror when seeing him, dubbing him the beast and a monster. Not exactly the kind of fame you want, is it? After using the lethal cocktail to pump up his muscles to 25 inches, Jim Buddy Alvis became gravely ill, oh. barely escaping with his arms intact. At one point, his injuries got so severe that doctors wanted to amputate them both in Entirely. His addiction to synthetic filler almost cost him his uh, life, but thankfully, Alvis is now on the straight and narrow, oh, although good. he still wants to achieve success as a good. bodybuilder. Number six, Andre. The hey, Lion. Andre. He born Andre Rusimov in Grenoble, France, in 1964. Andre, rest in peace. Public recognition as a international wrestling sensation, known as the enemy of the mustache-wearing Hulk Hogan, Andre stood tall at seven feet four inches tall. Similar to Robert Wadlow, Andre also suffered with giantism caused by excessive growth hormone, although his condition didn't cause him to continuously grow. He had great success within the WWF becoming World Heavyweight Champion and one-time WWF Tag Team Champion. He even branched out into acting, starring in Conan the Destroyer Zorro and the 1987 cult classic The Princess Bride. In the early 70s, Andre was raking in some serious cash, around $400,000 one year, and which he is had around $2.5 million dollars today. He was inducted into the WWF Hall of Fame in 1993 after passing away at the age of 40. Man. Number five, Emmanuel Yarbo, what the? New Jersey native. Wait, Emmanuel isn't he the? Yarbo, also he's that sumo wrestler. Sports using yep. his six feet eight inch body to intimidate opponents in sumo, martial arts, MMA, judo, wrestling, and even American football. That's one impressive resume, if you ask me. Born in September 1964, Emmanuel may have not have held the title for the world's tallest man, but he did clench the crown for the heaviest, weighing in at 882 pounds. 800, which yo, that's not good for your heart, man. Grown gorillas, he holds the Guinness World Record for the heaviest living athlete. That's not good for your heart. Great success in his career, including branching out into acting and beyond. Emmanuel often battled with food addiction and told his closest friends he felt like a prisoner in his own body. Although it was heart disease that slayed this gentle yep. giant, he leaves a lasting it's impression not good for your in heart, the man. sumo industry and beyond, often credited as one of the most famous sumo wrestlers outside of Japan. It's messed up. Number four, Yao Ming. Retired professional basketball player, Yao Ming, Yao Ming made really? quite a name for himself in the world of sumo. A lot of people call him a wimp, too. Inches, Ming was the tallest That's active basketball Bugsy player Bugs. in the NBA when he retired in 2011. His height definitely served him well as he had a successful career for almost 15 years, playing in both the Chinese Basketball Association and the NBA. Ming also has the distinction for being one of China's most admired and famous athletes. Such is the case with any reverted celebrity, his fame brought him lucrative sponsorship deals with several major international and worldwide companies. He was so highly recognized of that they even made a movie out of his first year with the NBA titled The Year with Yao. Yeah, I remember that. For Yao, his career was brought to a permanent halt prematurely following several injuries to his feet and ankles. Yep. Following on from his days as a giant on the court, he enrolled in Shanghai University. 
Number three, I know about her. I know about her. She's a six foot eight Russian model. Woman on this list. The stunning model towers over Miss Joe Average, reaching dazzling heights of six feet nine. Yep, six foot nine. Of course, we all know that models have to be a little taller than the average woman, but Lesnar takes it to the extreme. The brunette beauty first had a career as an Olympic medalist and basketball player, but switched it up to become a model earlier this year. Talking to the media about her future she expressed yep. her desire to i've seen this before i've seen about her. i know about her amazon eve i really want to be in the book of world records as the world's tallest model she explained i also think i have the chance to be awarded the world longest legs my legs are around 52.4 inches which is longer than the current record holder that's some nice Those legs a ginormous size 12 shoe we definitely think that she has a she chance bad, of man. breaking that she record. bad all right, y'all, we're going to end it right there. Um, for you guys who want to see the last two giants, uh, link in the description down below. Um, some of these, are, of course, most of these are known. The, the most famous ones are known. Um, Andre the Giant, I'm a big wrestling fan, so I grew up with Andre. I know about Andre. Um, it's just sad that he died so young. You know, giantism, that, that's, that's no joke, man. Um, Paul White, a.k.a. The Big Show, he was almost he was suffering from that too, but he got the surgery needed to stop it, and um, thank God for that. Um, but that other gentleman uh, who was eight feet eleven, I felt I felt so bad. He was talking about I'm like, yo, there's no way this guy was not having some health issues. I felt so bad for I'm like, oh my God, you know that that's going wrong. And the the big Korean, yo, could you imagine an MMA? You seeing that dude, you about to fight him, and you like, how do I attack this guy? How do I attack? The moment he he goes into a, it's like it's over. So when he, it was over, the dude was done. He could not get that, you. how are you getting that guy off you? How are you getting this guy off you? That's scary a little bit. And um, uh, that, that Brazilian bodybuilder, what the fuck are you doing? Excuse me, yeah, what the fuck are you doing? What the hell are you doing? You sticking some lethal cocktail into your muscles and to get because your idol is the Hulk. I, I love Spider Man too, but you don't see me going and having a spider ra soaking some radiation. Come on, spider, bite me so I can get pop. You know, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't see me. I love Luke Cage, but you don't see me doing some experiments so I can get bulletproof skin. You, what the hell? There's, there's only so far you can go with idolizing non-fictional uh, characters. That's, no, you don't do that. He looked like something out of a, a old Tom and Jerry cartoon. You know, remember when Tom and Jerry, when Tom would blow himself up, look all muscular, and he's like this? That, that's, that was disgusting. Like, he, he looked like he would, you just stick a little pin in him and he'd pop. That's disgusting. That is totally disgusting, um, and I'm glad. But I'm glad to see that he's he's doing okay, and he, you know, he he seen the errors of his way because that's nasty. I've seen other stuff like this. There's a there's a guy not too far up here in New York. Uh, he lives further up north in New York, who had big arms like that, and they call them Popeye arms. And he got they got so big at one point they ex his arms exploded, and and they did a whole documentary on it. You know, bodybuilding is, is only so much bodybuilding I can, I'm cool with. Like, but when you start going to that, that's extreme bodybuilding right there. No way. Hell no. Um, but yeah, and, and that, the, 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 uh, six foot nine, uh, model, she's bad. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no, that's, that's bad. That's, that's a real glamazon right there. Straight up. Uh, could you imagine it happened to kiss her? Like. She's either got a, if you're a guy in my stature, I would have to stand on something to kiss her, or she's got to bend down to kiss me, but no, she's bad, uh, I ain't gonna lie, that, that was bad, uh, well, other than that, guys, Sean, I want to thank Sean uh, for this, uh, guys, um, you tell me what you think of this list, as I said before, you want to see the last two, go in the, um, in the uh, link in the description down below, I always, uh, you know, when it comes to like Andre the Giant, definitely I'm always 
you know, it's, it's a little emotional for me because it's just like, he was so young. And the, the other dude before that was so young. He was only 28. He was still a baby, man. He's a, And look at me saying baby, and I'm only in my 30s, but it's just like, you're a baby. Andre was only 46. But there are a lot of stories, a lot of wrestlers to tell you he had a heart of gold. He was a lovable giant. And when he let you into his circle, you were friends with him for life. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, uh, you guys take care. This is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace from love. Stay tuned. Keep it real. Uh, giants. You know, does, uh, it's cool to see them. And, you know, but in the back of my mind always is like, I hope they're doing, you know, they health problems wise, they're, they're, they're okay. Uh, that's because this always my, my personal reason, like, are they suffering from giantism or, or are they going to keep growing? Things like that. And it's, it's, it's scary. It's, it's, it's scary. But, uh, yeah, y'all take care. Have a request for me, guys. Have a video you might think I would like to react to. Well, provide me with the link down below, as well as the hashtag react, please, Chris. If I respond to it, that means in a few days, I may react to it. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. Take care. Mumford and Kid is out.